Welcome to Leading and Loving Life, the go-to podcast for women seeking God's wisdom and transformation. I'm a called wire, and I'm here to guide you. Facing life's challenges, this is your place for inspiration, laughter, and God's love. We're all about empowering you through a strong bond with Jesus. Discover God's word with us. Let it guide, uplift, and remind you of your worth. We're here for every woman eager to grow in His grace. We will dive into genuine stories, celebrate triumphs, and get faith-based insights for daily life. Leading and Loving Life isn't just a podcast, it's a sisterhood. Here, we lead with purpose, love deeply, and laugh amidst challenges. Now join us and become a part of our purpose-driven community. Well, hello, friends. I'm so glad you're joining me for day eight. Can you believe it is day eight of the 100 Days of Believing Bigger devotional by Marshawn? Evans Daniels. And I'm so excited that you're here with me. I'm thankful that you've stayed with me through this. And whether you're listening in order or you're catching up, no matter what, I'm just thrilled to have you with me. So we're still under the big heading of trust. Today's title of the devotion is Secret Things. And the scripture for today is there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. Daniel 2.28. Secret things. Revealing them is the specialty of the Holy Spirit. It's a whisper filled with wisdom. It often feels untimely and inconvenient, but that's how heaven works. And it's how God's promises come to fruition. You see, a major life shift often happens with a gentle nudge. We can miss it when we're operating from a place of fatigue, worry, or doubt. However, trust changes what we see and how we hear. It takes open eyes to see and ready ears to hear a destiny tug, inviting us into the very thing we've been praying for. Listening for those divine tugs and recognizing that they are not just coincidences will be your secret weapon when it comes to entering the next level of what God has for you. It's those whispers that accelerate His vision and propel you into your promised land. And it's those whispers from God that reveal God's unique path and unconventional plan for your life. We cannot seize what we don't believe. Trusting God is the key to perceiving what God is doing. And the question for today's devotional is what whispers from God have you been doubting, overanalyzing, second guessing, or flat out ignoring? And I just kind of had to laugh at that when I read that because I'm like, oh Lord, we have been there. I've been there so many times where I have second guessed you, I doubted what you said, I overanalyzed maybe what you said. And so I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I believe I'm not the only one that has done that. And so I'll use this for example, this podcast, literally for a year, I have heard God talk about a podcast with me. And it's something I like to do. I like technology. I like to understand and figure out. And I love to use technology because I think it's helpful and it's easier. I like how technology is used in a good way and not a bad way necessarily. But then I also was thinking, man, I've had people tell me before, um, I'd really love you to teach a Bible study again, or I'd love to, you know, go to coffee with you and just sit and chat with you. And so sometimes that isn't always convenient to just go to coffee every day. Although I would love to go to coffee with my friends every day and meet with somebody every single day that isn't always flexible for my schedule or theirs. And so honestly, like I sat and wrestled with this idea of a podcast for a year because I just kept thinking in my mind, doubt actually filled my mind. Um, Can I do this? What if no one listens to it? Why would I do this? What is the purpose of this podcast? I don't want to do this podcast just for any old reason. I actually want it to be beneficial and I want to make a difference and have that cup of coffee with somebody, even if I can't be face to face with them, but have that cup of coffee with them through this podcast and really just talk about God. But all these thoughts and doubts would fill my mind. And I really, I had to wrestle with it and I had to get in a place in my mind where I was like, okay, it's time to go. So I've been praying about this podcast for a long while and I have asked God, show me where do I start? 
Show me what I do. How do I get this going? And you know what, guys? Right now, this podcast is going on in a very busy time in my life and in our church's life. And I'm just thrilled to be able to come here and take this time and have this little um, moment with you each and every day. Have that cup of coffee. That's probably one of my most favorite things to do is really have a cup of coffee with a friend, talk about the Bible, encourage each other, and just help each other and laugh and have fun and not take life too seriously, but also remind the person that I'm with that you are loved, you are chosen. God has a plan and a purpose for you. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. And then vice versa, hearing that back, if God did something for you, then I've got to know he's going to do something for me because God is no respecter of persons. So if you are dealing with doubt or overanalyzing something or second guessing, or just flat out ignoring what God has asked you to do, I encourage you write it down, take those thoughts captive of the doubt, take those thoughts captive of what you're hearing and decide, is this from God? Is this a man-made idea? Is this God's idea? You know, is this my idea? You know, I mean, really write it down and just ask God, seek his wisdom in this because he is going to show you. And remember, he will see it through what God has called you to. He didn't send you to fail and he will see it through. So take that encouragement today, write down what God has placed on your heart and go with it. Because honestly, I just had to start. And that's the thing. That's once I got started, then I'm like, okay, this is good. This is, we can do this. And I had to take a deep breath and realize, you know what? Even if one person listens to this podcast and one person's life is changed for the better, or they've learned something new, then this podcast has been successful. And so I just pray every single day that whoever hears this would be encouraged and built up in the word. And they really would just love being with God. And that's what we want to do. That's what we want to focus on. So we got to stop overthinking. We've got to take that step of obedience and take that step of faith and do what God says. Now, I want to share with you in scripture, because this is coming from Daniel 2.28. So I want to talk to you about Daniel and about how this scripture plays in, that there's a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. And let me tell you, God is always speaking to us. He's always leading us and he's always guiding us. And so we've got to just listen to him and learn to listen to him. That's a thing. Learning to listen to God takes time and it takes practice and it takes everyday intentionality. And so I believe that through this time that we have together, that we are being intentional. And when you are through listening to this podcast, man, you'll resonate with something. You'll take hold of something and you'll ask God and you'll chew on it for a little bit. But I want to tell you, so Daniel, in the book of Daniel, there is um, a very important prophetic vision that was given to King Nebuchadnezzar and the king search for his, the meaning of it. And so what had happened was King Nebuchadnezzar had had a particularly troubling dream and it caused him to lose sleep. And he just was not sure what was happening, what the dream was about, but he wanted to get an interpretation. And so he insisted that his counselors tell him the dream itself what it was about and not just the interpretation. Well, the king's men recognized that such a request was humanly impossible. Like, I I don't know what this dream was about. And they would say that there's no man on earth who could declare the matter to the king. Like, nobody could figure this out. So they suggested only a God could do something so remarkable. Well, when Daniel heard that the king had ordered the death of all of his wise men because they couldn't meet King Nebuchadnezzar's demand. Um, He and his three friends prayed for God to deliver him. But while no human could do what Nebuchadnezzar was asking, God would reveal those hidden things. So God revealed to Daniel the mystery 
And Daniel worshiped God. So in Daniel 2, 23, it says, To you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and might, and you have made known to me what we asked of you, for you have made known to us the king's matter. And so before the king's order to execute, the counselors could be carried out. Daniel was like, stop, stop. He told the executioner and told him that he, that God had provided the answer to him. And so God had revealed these hidden things to him. Well, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Daniel in and said, tell me what this is about. Tell me what the dream is. And Daniel reminded him that no person on earth could do such a thing, but that there is a God in heaven who reveals those mysteries and that God reveals hidden things. And in Daniel 2, 28, from our scripture today, there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. And he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. Your dream and the visions of your head as you lay in bed are these. So because God revealed the hidden things to Daniel, Daniel was able to tell the king both the dream itself and the interpretation of the dream. So there we see again, God had given Daniel the interpretation of the dream. I had told the um, Daniel was able to tell the king both the dream and then the interpretation because Daniel worshiped God and he trusted him and he spent time. He had a relationship with God and he honestly, I would say he believed. And I think that um, about Daniel and I'm like, how can such a man I do? I often think about Old Testament stories and I'm like, man, they had such faith to be able to truly surrender and to truly say, God, show me, reveal to me these hidden things. And then to put your life on the line, to go to the king, knowing, man, if I don't get this right, like I have to totally been, be trusting God in this, because if I don't get this right, that his King Nebuchadnezzar's men could die, but I could also die because I'm wrong in it. And so being able to be, have such faith and such trust in God to know, to reveal the mystery to Daniel, I think is just incredible. And that's where I'm like, Lord, I want to get to that place. I want to get to that place where I have such trust and such faith in you that I'm never swayed one way or the next. And so we just have to, again, renew our minds daily to the washing of the word of God. We have to take those thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ, every single thought that comes in. And we have to trust God that he is going, well, that he is speaking to us and trust that you hear from God. That's what I want you to know. We hear from him. We just need to learn to recognize that it is his voice that we're hearing and not our, our own. And it's not the enemy's voice. So we've got to discern that. And we've got to learn to walk in those steps of obedience and walk in what we're hearing out. And I believe that God will continue to show each and every single one of us. So I just encourage you, if there is something that God has placed on your heart, and remember, God is a gentleman, and He is not going to shout at you. He's not going to yell at you. And more than likely, we're not going to hear a big booming voice from heaven coming down on us, telling us the answer. I mean, it is His still small voice that we are listening for. And so I just truly encourage you, take a minute, slow down, write down what you think God is telling you. He will confirm it to you 100%. I believe that. Ask Him to. Ask Him to show you. Um, and so just be encouraged with that today. You are loved. You are chosen. God has a plan and a purpose and a promise for you, and he will see it through. I want to pray with you by closing with a prayer from the day eight devotional, but then also pray over you. Um, as for myself, so Lord God, you are always speaking, leading and guiding. Thank you for removing the mental cl clutter that blocks me from trusting your whisper. May I trust you in the midst of uncertainty and also appreciate the beauty of your mystery. Father God, I thank you for every single person listening to the sound of my voice. And I pray that all of us have ears to hear, Lord. You're speaking something to all of us, even right now. And I pray that we would be bold in our faith and bold in what you're calling us to do because you have something for every single one of us. And we want to stay in our lane that you have for us we're not to be called like anybody else. 
Lord, you've got something specific for me, but you also have something specific for the person listening to this podcast. And our two things that you have for us are going to probably be totally different. But you know what? I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that where she or he is weak, I am strong. And where I am weak, they are strong. And together we make the church body. We make the big C church and we get out there and we do what you have called us to do. Lord, you have something amazing for us. Thank you, God, for sending your son to die for us, that we are able to trust you a hundred percent, that we are able to get down on our knees, spend some quiet time with you and just truly surrender our hearts and our lives and our families and our thoughts and emotions to you, God, because you love us that much. Lord, we bless you, we praise you, and we give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me. Each week, it is my hope that you are encouraged through what you hear and know that you belong here and you are loved. So I have a little favor to ask. If you find value and joy in what you hear today, I encourage you to share this podcast with your friends and family. Spread the word about leading and loving life with Jesus so that together we can create a community of love, faith, and growth. Thank you once again for joining me today. May this podcast be a beacon of light and hope in your life, guiding you towards a deeper connection with Jesus and a greater sense of purpose. Until next time, be blessed, be inspired, and keep leading and loving life with Jesus.